Hi, we are in Cleveland, Ohio for the NCAA Women's Final Four. We are here to talk about the four teams that have made it this far. I am Jaden Watson Fisher with the Raleigh News and Observer. And I'm Mitchell Northam. I'm a digital reviewer here with North Carolina Public Radio and a voter in the AP Top 25 poll. And I'm Peyton Titus from the State Newspaper in Columbia, South Carolina. Okay, let's talk about the NC State Wolfpack now. Unlike the Gamecocks, the Wolfpack was not ranked in the preseason top 25, and they took that personally. Uh, the Wolfpack has been really the underdog all season. Um, most games, they have not been favored, um, but they've come out with a vengeance, um, and they are hoping to continue their upset bid this week. Um, they have already beaten Tennessee. Stanford and Texas en route to this Final Four appearance, which is the first one since 1998 and the first one under Coach Wes Moore. All right, so let's talk about the South Carolina Gamecocks. They are the number one team in the country and have been for pretty much the entire season um, since the preseason AP poll rankings came out and they were number six and then went on to have an undefeated season uh, yet again after doing the same thing last year but losing all five of their starters to graduation in the WNBA. So now they're back and hoping that they'll bring home the title this time after losing to Iowa in the Final Four last year. Um, and then Coach Don Staley earlier this weekend won the Naismith Coach of the Year Award for the third time in a row and fourth time in her career. So they're hoping that that's not the only piece of hardware they bring back to Columbia this weekend. The other game in this matchup in the Final Four in Cleveland, Ohio at Rock and Mortgage Fieldhouse is between Iowa and UConn, featuring two big time stars. On one side, you have Caitlin Clark, who dropped 41 points in Iowa's Elite Eight win over LSU in Albany, New York. On the other side, you have Paige Beckers and you have Aaliyah Edwards. UConn is in the Final Four for the 23rd time and the first time since 2022, while it's the second straight trip for Iowa. While UConn's kind of a behemoth historically in this sport, they had to upset USC to get here. Uh, Iowa, of course, beat LSU last year's reigning national champions. The winner of this game will face South Carolina or NC State and uh, should be a fun one here in Cleveland.